What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic, and one thing that has been long debated when it comes to speakers is the question, does size matter? So today we're gonna talk about the old time battle of floor speakers versus bookshelf speakers. So floor speakers, also known as floor standing speakers or tower speakers, are usually at least three feet tall and they're meant to sit directly on the floor as opposed to a stand or shelf. Floor speakers can have dedicated subwoofers built in, multiple mid-range drivers, multiple tweeters, up-firing Dolby Atmos speakers, rear-firing speakers, large ports for bass, and all sorts of configurations. Their larger size provides them the ability to fit multiple drivers in the cabinet, which allows them to dedicate different audio frequencies to each each driver, which can result in better imaging or better sound quality. The larger cabinet also allows them to put out more volume and bass since they have more internal airspace and room for larger drivers. So considering the flexibility the larger cabinet provides, floor speakers work great for both music and home theater use. So do floor speakers have any downsides? Well, the most obvious issue is their size. It can be difficult to fit floor speakers in a smaller room considering they take up a decent amount of space. Aside from them being tall and eye-catching, you have to also consider that they work best when spaced several feet apart from each other, which might require more space than you have. And the last thing to consider with floor speakers is cost, since floor speakers generally cost more than bookshelf speakers. Now there are some very expensive bookshelf speakers out there, but once you start to get into floor speakers, you'll quickly notice the difference in price, considering it's not uncommon for floor speakers to be the most expensive speakers in your setup. So considering how eye-catching floor speakers can be, you're probably going to want to keep your your floors around your speakers clean, so I wanna take a quick moment to talk about the best way to do that. So I don't know what it is about the area around the speakers in my living room and in front of my TV stand, but there's always dust or some kind of gunk built up, not to mention the carpet in my home theater. Well, ever since I started using the Roborock S7 Max V Ultra, my floors have never looked better. This thing does it all. It vacuums, it mops, it automatically empties the dustbin after it vacuums, it washes the mopping pad automatically, and it even refills the robot with water so it runs several weeks without any human interaction. And on top of all of that, it has a sophisticated navigation system that uses LiDAR and cameras to navigate and accurately avoid common obstacles so I don't have to worry about it crashing into any of my expensive home theater equipment. So if you're looking for the best and most modern way to keep your home theater or living room floors clean, use the links in the video description to pick up the S7 Max V Ultra today. I want to thank Roborock for sponsoring this portion of today's video and now let's talk about bookshelf speed. So bookshelf speakers, also known as bookshelves for short, are significantly smaller than floor speakers and their name is derived by their ability to fit on a shelf or stand. Compared to floor speakers, bookshelf speakers are often not as loud and some cheaper models don't cover a wide frequency range, but their smaller size allows them to be placed on a table, desk, TV stand, or hung on a wall. And considering they don't produce as much bass as floor speakers, they're often paired with a subwoofer to handle the lower frequencies, which often results in better overall sound sound. Bookshelf speakers are really popular for music that doesn't require heavy bass. They're also popular for people who are on a tight budget, people who are new to home theater, or someone in an apartment or smaller room that doesn't need big sound. Now I know right off the bat some of you probably think that big floor speakers are always better than bookshelf speakers, but honestly it comes down to what you're listening to and the quality of the speakers themselves. Yes, larger cabinets and big drivers generally provide better low frequency response and cover a wider range but if you're comparing a $600 bookshelf speaker to a $600 floor speaker, it's possible that the bookshelf speaker will sound better considering the manufacturer probably put higher quality components in the bookshelf speaker. It can also be a bit tricky because some speakers are built for accuracy or they have a certain sound signature which can make them sound better for music. Now home theaters do benefit from accurate speakers but they usually benefit more from larger speakers as movies generally sound best with speakers that produce a wide and large soundstage. And if you're in a large room you'll likely need more output or volume and floor speakers can usually handle more power than bookshelf speakers making them the better option here. Another popular question is which speakers to use for surround sound. Now, even though some people use large floor speakers as surround speakers in their home theater, bookshelf speakers are the more popular option as they're easier to place on a wall or a shelf and surround sound effects don't really require a wide frequency range. Not to mention a subwoofer can easily make up for the lack of bass. So if you haven't figured it out yet, floor speakers are the better option if you need big sound, but obviously the biggest downside is that they take up a lot of space and they don't fit the aesthetics of every 
every room. So floor speakers have a much lower WAF or wife approval factor compared to bookshelves. So because of this, I've switched from floor speakers to bookshelf speakers in my living room. So here you can see the floor speakers are really conspicuous considering their size. And it gets even worse if you add subwoofers to the mix. And here you can see that with the bookshelf speakers, I could either put them on top of the TV stand or even hide them inside of the TV stand where they just kind of disappear. Now I will admit that it's not ideal to position your speakers this low to the floor, but if you're looking for a low profile setup or a setup with a high wife approval factor, then this sacrifice might be worth it. Now do floor speakers sound significantly better than bookshelf speakers in my living room? Absolutely. But considering I have a dedicated home theater in the basement and the wife prefers the look of bookshelves, this stealth setup works perfectly fine in my living room. In the end, it's not really about one type of speaker being better than the other. It's about your personal use case and your budget. Is your room big enough for floor speakers? Do you like the way they look? Is your room too big for bookshelves? Or maybe you're in an apartment where big sound can get you in trouble. These are the type of questions you have to ask yourself before pulling the trigger on either of these options. But that's gonna pretty much do it for this video, guys. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, as always, go ahead and make sure you mash that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I do have a few upcoming videos that you guys have been begging me for. I will be doing a full review on the four movie theater, which is the ultra short throw projector that won the shootout. And I know I keep saying it, but I am gonna be doing a video on the Epson LS 11,000 and a few others. So definitely make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on those videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.